Hey, we got some more environmental horribleness happening. Kentucky crews work to remove remaining two runaway barges stuck in the Ohio River, including one containing methanol. There's no evidence of a chemical leak, officials say. Is there no evidence because it isn't there or because they aren't looking for it? <laughs> There's no evidence. No evidence. Is this under Buttigieg jurisdiction as well? Right. Does he control the river barges? I'm pretty sure. He's transportation. It's all transportation. When he, so here, watch. The, here's a news report. Ready? Runaway barges, as in plural, slamming into a dam on the Ohio River. This is all happening at a dam near Louisville, Kentucky. Emer how does a how does a how does a barge become a runaway? Well, how, what what? I don't know, cable snaps. I don't know. What aren't isn't there a, a something always pushing it? And then the guy is like, ah, fuck it, and he just kind of pulls away and lets the thing. I don't. How does anyway? Here we go. Agency officials say three barges got loose, hitting the structure. You could see one of the barges partially underwater. Louisville Emergency Management. You know, when they said runaway barges, at first I thought they were just being. Rude to a runaway bride, you know what I mean? That's what I thought. Anyway, he thought there was a fat phobic insult. Yeah, fat phobic insult. <laughs> Saying one barge is carrying fourteen hundred tons of methanol. It's a naturally occurring chemical, but it is incredibly toxic if consumed. Louisville's water department saying that the wreck is downriver from the city's water intake. Hazmat crews are monitoring the situation. Huh. Yeah, but it's not down water from all the rest of the people who use that water down water. Right, that, that does it. Oh, it's okay. It's not going to mess with the city. But what about all the other cities down water? Oh well. Well, it's, there's no evidence of it. It's the Ohio River. It doesn't just had doesn't just service one city. Oh man, my fentanyl's on one of those barges. <laughs> <laughs> in a in a news conference Wednesday <laughs> afternoon, Louisville Mayor Craig Oh Louisville, we play we could we're going to play Louisville. Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg confirmed just two barges out of 10 that initially broke loose early Tuesday morning remain settled against the lower McAlpine Dam structure along the Ohio River. One of the barges is carrying 1,400 tons of methanol. A Louisville... Ma Nothing to see here. The other barges were carrying soy and corn. Wow. Look at that. 10 barges total broke loose and became stuck against the McAlpine Dam early Tuesday morning, according to me. No injuries, I report. Okay. Greenberg on Wednesday stressed there remains no evidence of a chemical leak and a Wednesday release from Lou. You know what? Why don't they just try burning it? Have they tried burning it? <laughs> I've got a controlled burn just I, to be safe. I know it's in the river, but try just, burning it. Just finish off Ohio for good. Uh. It has taken more than 80 air quality samples that show zero evidence of any hazards that would pose a health risk. What about it in the water? They're taking air samples. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> They're taking air samples. It's in the water. It's not hovering in the air, right? <laughs> Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg sought to reassure residents, noting that every year a thousand barges containing toxic chemicals break loose on the Ohio River. Doesn't that make you feel better? Uh, yeah, I bet he's lowballing that number. I bet he's lowballing that number. When are they going to do a control burn? That's what we really need. <laughs> uh, Louisville, this is the latest update, by the way. Louisville officials' methanol and barge lodged against Ohio River Dam is still contained. I want to know how 10 barges break loose. It seems like the whole country is run by maniacs. Mental cases, irresponsible knuckleheads. <laughs> hey, you want to fix the railroad track? No. It's probably a drunk barge. <laughs> wasn't that the, uh, the uh, what was the big, when I was a kid, the oil oh, uh, tanker? Yeah. Wasn't the guy drunk or something? Yeah, and, and Exxon Valdez. Yeah. Exxon Valdez. Nice pull, Steffi. Yeah, he was drunk. The guy, the guy driving an oil tanker was drunk, and then yeah. they had a big crash. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Things are only getting better in America. I say we send ten more billion to Ukraine. I think yeah. that's what'll fix Can't our hurt. problem. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see my new stand-up special. COVID lies are funny. For only ten dollars, you get to become a premium member too. And come see us do our live shows. We're going to be doing stand-up comedy in Milwaukee, Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Maryland, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.